Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is some dude, and today I have a little more Lego action for you. Um, as of like today on my channel, far and away the most popular videos on there are the Lego uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, just live commentary playthroughs, and you know that's cool with me. I didn't expect it to be like that, but. Now I have Lego Harry Potter, and I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I already played through the game on story mode. I'm going to go back through, play the game, see 45%. That's not great. That's like half almost. And uh, go back and get all the Hogwarts crests, all the characters, all the students in peril, and whatever else. Buy all the spells. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I kind of insinuated it, but I'm this is live. I, I'm commenting as I'm playing, so you'll be kind of getting my like perspective on things as I feel stupid. Uh, where do I need to go? I need to go to Diagon Alley. There we go. I have learned a few things uh, in my YouTube career since uh, we last were playing Legos together. Um, I let's see, what have I learned? My I installed this game to my hard drive, so that my Xbox should not be humming in the background like it has been my last couple videos. I uh, I also moved my Xbox to the opposite side of my desk, so hopefully that will help as well. And I took my dog's collar off. That's a huge one. It seems like in every one of my videos, the past like three or four, at some point in the video, you just hear this jingling where my dog. Great, now he's starting to play with his toy. So now you'll hear that. Or when my dog just, you know, wakes up and shakes his head and you just hear the jangle of his uh, dog tags, but he just got a hold of his Kong, so you're probably going to hear that now. I need to turn my, whoops, that was close. I need to turn my cheats on. Character token de detector, yeah, I'll turn all the scores on because I like those, the money. Red brick, do, 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 do. yep, yep, everything. Oh. Oh shit, there's ones out here. What's in here? Okay, whatever. I want to get to... I want to try and get to... Um... I'll get these some other time. Because i got to change characters. I need to get to... Fucking, uh, building where it lets me choose a level. There we go. Okay. Wait, what's that? Holy crap, that just gave me two million points for that one stud. I love that. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Alright. Is this the first one? Yeah, I think it is. Free play. That's how we do it. I'll be Harry. Good, I got Bellatrix. Or Bella... I think that's how you said it. Bellatrix Lestrange. There's always like one kind of uh, uh, like item throughout the game that you can't actually use. Like in Lego Pirates, it was the uh, Blackbeard cases and stuff. I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes. Hope nobody minds. Um, in this one. It is uh, dark magic. 
What's going on? Pick that shit up. There we go. Okay, I need a strong character. That guy looks strong. Look at that. Oh, he got himself. That's Dudley? I thought Dudley was like a little fat kid. I don't know, I'm not super Harry Potter literate. Um, I read the books and stuff, but I mean, it's been so long. Because when I was a kid, they like just came out. And now they're like old news and they're all movies. I don't have a... Tyson, shush. That's another thing that's changed. In my last, in my Lego uh, Pirates playthrough, my puppy at the time was only like two months old or something. Now he's over six months old. He's like tripled in size and he's like ten times as annoying now. I'm just kidding. He's not annoying. He's fucking awesome. Okay, I need... How do I get that? I need, uh, Weasley shoes. Do I not have those? Well, this is fucked. Nothing I can do up there. God. Stupid Bellish, Bellatrix, Bellatrix, whatever. Bellatrix. Let's get this green on. What's the green? That must be... Maybe I'll just walk around it. Oh, I didn't have this spell when I first played through. Do, do, do. Yes, you'll bet. Mow the lawn. Oh, oh, okay, that's. Something else. Okay. I need to mow all this grass. Looks like it. Need to do something with this. Oh, I can use dark magic. Yes! What? The irony in that, you have to use dark magic to save that kid. Whatever, game. Where's Dudley? There he is. Fat boy. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about. It's totally off topic. Um, but before I started recording this, I was watching... Uh, I was just eating some dinner and I was watching the Discovery Channel and that show Sons of Guns was on and uh, I mean there's I've heard discussion as to whether that show is fake or real I mean, I mean by fake I mean that they script it and stage all the builds and all that stuff and you know at times, it does seem like their acting is terrible. Oh, shit, no. Oh, thank God, I get another one. At times, it does seem like their acting is terrible or like something's off. But, you know, I can't tell if that's, you know, if they're just bad actors or if they're just like stupid people. Um, but the episode I watched tonight, like really clarified it for me. It made it 
like so obvious that that show is fake. Um, first of all, it's the episode where like one of the employees decides he wants to date the boss's daughter, and she like he asks if the boss uh, like, hey, I like your daughter, you know, I'd like to date her, and he goes, you know. Of course, he's like a big hard ass. He goes, well, you can either choose my daughter or your job or something like that. And, um, oh yeah, Hogwarts Crest, suck it. Which is just bullshit to begin with. But, like, then it goes on to, like, at one point the chick catches her dad smoking. And this is what really tip me off. Like, if you watch this guy smoke this cigarette, it looks so unnatural. Like, he's he's holding it with, like, his thumb and his index finger, like, right at the filter. Like, nobody holds a cigarette like that. And when he went, when he took a drag off of it, the camera, like, cut away before it could show whether he inhaled or not. And it's like, oh my god. Like, that was so obvious. Like, I smoked for like two years and I always look for that kind of shit when uh, it's on TV because like I hate when actors don't inhale cigarettes and I know that's kind of that might not be like the most popular opinion like oh they don't need to inhale that cancerous stick or whatever but really they do um, if you want your movie to seem legit and you want the character to seem legit, they're not going to be just smoking a cigarette for fun. I mean, they're going to be smoking it because they want the nicotine. I already know how this ends. They need to actually get Harry in order for this to progress. So I'm just going to let him get him. Uh, but, you know, if you're an actor, learn how to inhale a cigarette, do it for the scene, and then don't ever smoke again. But if your character in the movie smokes, then you need to inhale, because otherwise it just takes me right out of the story. And that's beside the point. And then, of course, um, later in this episode, like there's this big showdown between the guy who wants to date his daughter, Skip Cutscene, and uh, the boss, where he, where he picks the girl, of course. Like, no one would ever do that. Like, he... He works a job where, like, I think they even said at one point, like, he makes, like, $40 an hour, which is, oh, and he's on TV, so add on, like, TV money and all that shit. What's that blue arrow? What's, what's over there? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Um, and so, like, no guy would ever do that. Like, you would keep your job and then try to bang the daughter on your personal time behind his back. That's what every guy ever would do you're not going to give up like an uh, like a 90k a year job plus a tv spot just for some chick that's silly and okay i gotta shoot the buoys that's weird um and so the guy's like oh you really are the dumbest son of a bitch i've ever seen or whatever and, but then he's like, you know, I just need you to show me that you were willing to, or you, you know, you were willing to lose it all to get my daughter or whatever. And then lets him keep his job. And that was like the most storybook ending to this half-assed show about machine guns that I had ever seen. And it was just so dumb. Like it, at that point it was just so obviously staged it like wasn't even worth watching anymore and you knew it was gonna happen because like as they were as the show was going on they were previewing the next week's episode and there was the fucking guy like on the commercial like obviously he didn't get fired because he's right there trying to get me to watch next week it's just stupid I don't I don't watch too much TV uh, to be honest with you I the TV I do watch, I rarely ever watch, uh, like, on TV. I'll watch it online or something like that. And 
I only watch a handful of shows. I really like Dexter. Dexter is the ultimate. That's the best show. This season is so fucking good. I can't wait to see how it ends. But And then I watch Breaking Bad, which is another really good one. And then I watch a couple comedies. I watch like The League, which is really funny. What? Cool, so I just get studs for this? That's fucking dumb. Um, and, uh, what else do I watch? I like, like, Tosh.0 is really funny. And, shit, I don't know. Oh, hey, student in peril. Excuse me, Harry. How do you get him down? Tyson. Right before I started recording, my dog was just sleeping nicely on my bed. I start talking and now he's got a... Oh, here we go. He's got to play with his toy, he's got to dig through the garbage, he's got to... Lick his balls, he's got to do it all. Oh, that wasn't a student, that was the teacher. Okay, I need to figure out what's up with these. Hmm. Oh, I can water him, I bet. And I was wrong. Can't dig. What kind of characters do I got? Bellatrix doing again? Let's try this light, this light capture thing. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna. I I think time's running a little long. I want to keep these videos um, somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Just based on how to see how the levels break up, because I don't want to cut at awkward points or run too long. Get out of the fucking garbage, dude. Come on. It's just, it's just lemonade. Sorry, that's my dog again. Little bastard is sabotaging me. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, as always, if you if you liked it, feel free to leave a rating. If you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, I am some dude. Thank you for watching. Later, dudes.